workplace activists. What's this term and how do you relate the concept with the experience and culture? We created this term actually in the book and it's our final 10th rule of the 10 rules and it's a challenge, a call to action mm -hmm. to HR and business leaders to be a workplace activist. That means look for opportunities to make the changes that you see needed in the workplace. And it could be like the example from Airbnb where the CHRO said, you know what, I don't see HR just operating in the HR silo any longer. I think, as Mark Levy said in the book, that HR needs to form cross-functional relationships with other C-level executives from real estate, from internal communications, from IT, from marketing, global citizenship, the foundation if a company is big enough, everyone coming together and creating a shared vision for what is the experience that we want to create for our global employees. And so that's workplace activism, understanding your job, if it's in HR, is not really your job. Your job is to help your organization create the most compelling, best consumer experience for the company and for your employees. Can any employee become a workplace activist? If you see a change that you believe is needed, you should Point it out. You be the first. If you believe strongly in that, point it out. Work with your other team members and suggest a, the change that you see needed in the organization. And understand your job is not your job. Your job is to help your organization win and create the most compelling experience in the workplace.